Linear algebra, like most mathematics, is surprisingly useful. One interesting application of linear algebra is cryptography, and with the knowledge we have about matrices up to this point, Gauss-Jordan elimination, inverting matrices, and matrix multiplication, that's enough to encode and decode simple messages with matrix operations. So a cryptogram is a message that's written according to a secret code, and in this video we'll take a look at how we can use matrix multiplication to encode and decode messages. First, it's necessary that we assign numbers to the letters of the alphabet. We'll let zero represent a blank space and then assign numbers to letters in sequential order. Now we'll consider this message, which I send people a lot, the message send frog pics. Now what we can do is write this message in uncoded 1 by 3 matrices. So we're breaking down this message into three characters at a time, where each character is represented by a number based on the assignment described here. So the first 1 by 3 matrix, for example, would have the first three letters, S, E, and N. But specifically, they are represented by their numbers, 19 for S, 5 for E, and 14 for N. Then we move on to the next three characters and represent those in a separate 1 by 3 matrix that's seen here. We have the letter D, and then we have a space, so we have the number 0 for that. And then we start the word frog, so we have F, which is a 6, and then that's three characters, so we close that off, and then we move on to the next three characters in a separate 1 by 3 matrix. We continue in this manner until the entire message is represented in these uncoded 1 by 3 matrices. Notice that in the last one, we have an empty entry that we just have to fill with a 0, representing a blank space. You might think these are coded matrices because we've turned the letters into numbers, but it's not coded at all because the numbers represent exactly what you would think based on this assignment of letters to numbers. So it's very clear what these numbers represent. It represents the message, send frog pics. But what if I want to send this message in a secret way? I want to encrypt it first so that if anybody intercepted the message while I sent it to a recipient, if anyone intercepted it, they wouldn't know what it meant unless they were able to decode it. It's really important that the matrix be invertible, otherwise there's no way to decode the encoded message. So once we get that matrix, we'll multiply each uncoded row by A on the right. So we have these uncoded rows, and we'll multiply each of them by this invertible matrix on the right. Now, if we had broken this message down into one by four matrices, rather than one by three matrices, we would need to choose an invertible four by four matrix. But because of how we split the message up, we're gonna use a three by three matrix. Doing this, we will get a coded row matrix corresponding to each of the uncoded row matrices. So we take each uncoded row matrix, multiply it by the encoding matrix A that we've chosen, and we get this coded row matrix. Here's the second uncoded row, multiply by the encoding matrix, and we get this coded row, and so on. In this manner, you can see how each uncoded row is turned into this coded row, which does not have any obvious meaning. Even if you tried to reverse engineer this back through the letter assignment, several of these numbers would have no letter corresponding to them, like 27 and 103. It certainly would not make any sense. This message cannot be read anymore. So we encode each row, and then we can remove the brackets to obtain our cryptogram. This sequence of numbers is now indecipherable to anyone who doesn't know where they came from, but if we send it to somebody who has the encoding matrix, they could decode this cryptogram by using the inverse. To decode the cryptogram, all we need to do is multiply each coded row on the right by A inverse. That will undo the encoding. This works, of course, because each coded row matrix Y is equal to X times A, where X represents an uncoded row and A represents the encoded matrix. So if we multiply that Y on the right by A inverse, 
it would cancel out with A and just leave the original uncoded row behind. So let's give it a try. You can try this yourself to decode the cryptogram that we just made, but let's try this out on a new cryptogram using the same encoding matrix A. So this is an encoded message. This is a cryptogram and we're going to decode it. To do that, we need to find the inverse of the encoding matrix A. To find the inverse, we will create this augmented matrix between A and the identity, and then perform Gauss-Jordan elimination. Once we do that, we get the identity on the left, and the inverse of A is on the right. So this is A inverse, which we can use to decode the cryptogram. Like we said, once we have A inverse, all we have to do is multiply each coded row on the right by A inverse to get the original uncoded rows. We just found A inverse, that will be our decoding matrix, and so now we just have to do all of that matrix multiplication. We take each coded row matrix, for example, 25, 73, 79 is the first coded row matrix, 22, 49, 43, that's the second coded row matrix. We take each one and multiply it on the right by the decoding matrix A inverse. Doing this, we get five uncoded row matrices, which we can easily turn back into the original message. Taking all of these coded row matrices, putting them in sequence, and then turning the numbers into their corresponding characters, we arrive at the decoded message, nice frog, bro. Just look at that cutie patootie. So that's how easy it is to encode and decode messages using matrices. This is just one of many interesting applications of linear algebra. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Mama. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed